Welcome to chapter one of our story. The scene opens with snow falling in thick, heavy flakes, covering the world outside a ski lodge in a quiet, white silence. A young woman stands at the entrance, her breath visible in the cold air, as she looks at the familiar yet intimidating sight of the lodge. The wooden building stands tall, its creaking beams and dark corners whispering secrets of the past. This is where our story begins, with a mix of nostalgia and unease filling the air. Stay tuned as we dive into the unfolding events of this chapter. As Clara steps inside the lodge, warmth wraps around her like a comforting hug, but it doesn't melt the chill in her bones. The fireplace crackles, casting flickering shadows that dance across the walls, creating a feeling of being trapped and uneasy. Clara looks around with her green eyes, seeing her friends, Ben, Maya, and Lila, each lost in their own thoughts. Ben, who is tall and lean with dark hair, tries to lighten the mood with a joke, but his laughter echoes hollowly. Clara forces a smile, but it feels like a fragile mask over the guilt she feels inside. There's a tension between them, a rift that has grown over the years, threatening to break their fragile reunion. Maya, with her long wavy black hair and warm brown eyes, stands by the window, her gaze distant as she feels the emotional weight in the air. Clara admires Maya's ability to understand others' feelings, but it only makes Clara feel more alone. Lila moves around, her vibrant red curls bouncing as she tries to bring some fun into the room, but even her playful spirit seems dimmed by the heaviness around them. As night falls, the lodge changes. Shadows flicker at the edges of Clara's vision, and a sudden drop in temperature sends a shiver down her spine. Whispers echo through the halls, barely audible but unmistakable, hinting at the spirits tied to the lodge. Clara's heart races, a deep instinct telling her to leave, but she stands firm, ready to face the ghosts of her past. The group retreats to their rooms, each person haunted by their own thoughts. Clara lies in bed, staring at the ceiling, the weight of her guilt pressing down on her like a suffocating blanket. The lodge, once a place of joy, now feels like a prison, its walls closing in as the whispers grow louder, promising that the night is far from over. Clara knows that she must confront these feelings and the memories that haunt her if she is to find peace. The night stretches on, filled with the echoes of the past and the promise of what is yet to come.